Hello everybody and thank you for joining me for the Tales from the Crypt review series. Today I will be reviewing the very first episode, Season 1, Episode 1, The Man Who Was Death, directed by Walter Hill and starring William Sadler as Niles Talbot. And just a heads up, there will be some episode uh, spoilers in this review. So first I have to mention that Tales from the Crypt was originally uh, based on a series of comics, horror comics, and therefore each episode has an introduction by the Crypt Keeper, uh, very well voiced by John Kassir. And I have to say that uh, it'll be interesting to see as I go through the episodes how effective these openings are. I thought this one was pretty solid and pretty amusing overall. So this episode has some interesting things going for it, and I think it's a very solid episode overall. I just have one uh, minor complaint about the episode. So I'll go through the episode and talk about the things I liked about it. So this episode is about an executioner uh, who definitely seems to enjoy his job. He likes to uh, flip the switch on people once they are uh, condemned for crimes they committed. And I have to say this character, Niles Talbot, uh, narrates through the whole story, which was kind of an interesting thing to do for the first episode. It's always kind of gutsy, in my opinion, to do this kind of narration. Uh, if it works, it can really give us more insight into a character. If it doesn't work, it can really, really fail. I do think the narration was a bold move and works very well for the most part in this episode. I do have a few issues with it, which I'll get to um, later on. But William Sadler is very good in the role of Niles Talbot. So the basic premise of this episode, we start with a man named uh, Charlie, I think, and he's very scared because he's about to be executed. And uh, you can tell this guy's genuinely upset about this, but uh, Niles doesn't really seem to have much compassion for this guy at all. He says he always, you know, looks the prisoners in the face before he flips the switch. And uh, he just uh, seems to kind of enjoy doing this and uh, only looks at it that it's uh, his job, but as we'll see, that will change later on in the episode. So the episode's going along, and uh, in a twist, the death penalty is rescinded. So Niles is now out of work, and he's also very unhappy about this, and he continues to narrate throughout the episode about a lot of different things. I'll get to more on that uh, in a minute. So he decides what he's going to do, Niles, is he's going to execute people that uh, are guilty uh, or that he feels are guilty and were and got off for one reason or another were found not guilty and he's successful twice in this and I have to say these are pretty brutal and violent scenes especially for television at the time we have to remember these weren't feature films this was uh, on television and uh, I know it was cable television but still pretty violent uh, execution scenes as Niles executes a man and then he executes a couple as well the only problem is when he goes to execute um, a lady, she's like a stripper, I believe. He's in a strip club. Uh, when he goes to execute her, he gets caught. I'm not really sure if he got caught for the first two murders he committed or if they just uh, catch him trying to do this one. But either way, he's now in trouble. And in another twist, it turns out um, that the death penalty has been reinstated and now Niles is going to be electrocuted in the chair. And uh, Niles definitely changes his tune as now he's pleading and hoping that someone will call to save him. But of course he isn't. He is actually electrocuted. So the episode kind of ends the way it started. So uh, it's kind of one of those uh, person gets justice episodes, which is fine. It's very well done. And William Sadler's performance is solid in it. Um, I do have one complaint about some of the narration. Uh, while it's very good and pretty well written, it seems a bit unfocused at times, meaning the mood of it is kind of all over the place. Sometimes I'm not sure if it's supposed to be serious or funny, and there's a few too many ideas in there. I realize they're trying to get you more into the character, but in only a half an hour episode, maybe they should have focused on a few topics. It seems like the character of Niles makes commentary about a lot of different issues, and it just kind of seems a little bit all over the place. It doesn't really kill the episode, but I would have liked something a little more focused. And the tone of this episode is a, a bit strange at times, too. I know Tales from the Crypt tries to combine uh, comedy and drama, and for the most part, it works here. I just thought there were a few times when it felt slightly off. But overall, The Man Who Was Death is an excellent episode, um, well-written and well-acted by William Sadler, and I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. Definitely a solid start for Tales from the Crypt. Uh, hopefully that will bode well for the future. So a four out of five for the man who was deaf. And as always, thank you very much for watching.